from uh, the best friend to a few of these top models is also having a pretty good year herself from never ever getting back together to feeling 22. Taylor Swift has been on top of the music charts, making millions and raking in all kinds of trophies at award show. Well, now she's go undergoing a total transformation. with Judd from KISS 98.5 right now for another Tuesday Tuesday. Taylor Swift really shook up the pop music world yesterday with her new release. Yeah, she's officially broken up with country music and really, she even said in her web chat that she had yesterday on Yahoo that this is her first pop album. There's going to be no country and the CMA, the Country Music Association, actually broke up with her last night on Twitter. So, are, yeah, is there fallout from the country fans? Are they upset about There's this? quite a bit. The CMA tweeted last night, Taylor, it's been, a, it's a, been great to watch you grow. We wish you on your uh, best of luck on your new venture so the country music association said bye taylor you know our relationship's done Yikes. Uh, well we know when she breaks up with people she breaks up with them yeah for expect good. a song right uh so this song shake it up it is totally not i guess what you would expect from taylor swift if you are a country taylor swift fan um i guess you kind of could have seen it going this way her last couple of songs never getting back together uh 22 definitely were headed down the pop uh, kind of genre. Mm -hmm. This is a straight ahead pop song uh, where I think she's channeling her inner Gwen Stefani. I was going to say, it reminds me of Gwen Stefani or Avril Lavigne, kind yeah. of that all girl, almost like a pop rocker kind of vibe. Okay, so she released this yesterday. She did a Yahoo chat, released the song, mm -hmm. released the video. Where does it go from here? There's a whole album. So right? there's a whole album coming at the end of October, October 27th, called 1989, the year that she was born. Mm -hmm. uh, and she says that this album is her first pop album. It's going to embrace a lot of the things that she likes about the late 80s, you couldn't tell from her style and things okay. like that, she's really big into kind of those late 80s, uh, early 90s kind of thing. So that's supposed to be what it is from what I've heard from some of the industry people. Um, she's got six songs already done, and they sound all very much like this, produced by Max Martin, who is, you know, you're straight ahead. If you know a lot of the pop songs that are on the radio, Max Martin's had his hand on a lot of them. Okay, so do you think this is going to work for her? Is she going to be someone that sets a trend from moving from one genre to another? Um, I think I think she, this will work for her. I don't know so much if she's going to stay pop music forever. It definitely seems that she's very comfortable there. Um, and she really was, and kind of what the song is about, is she needed to shake off that these songs are about breakups and mm -hmm. are about, you know, getting my heart broken or being mean to by other people. So this is really kind of a departure of saying, you know, that was me. I'm not just that girl who writes about being broken up with um, and being wronged. And this is the new kind of Taylor Swift. Kind so. of mature. If you think about women in the music industry whose careers have spanned generations, they are always transforming. Mm -hmm. So kind of interesting to see where she goes. Okay, so the one, uh, the single is out, the music video is out, album comes out in October. But that's not all the new music we're talking about. New no. music in the, for the fall, right? Yeah, we got two great new songs to gotta want to highlight for you. One uh, is Kat Dahlia. This song is called Crazy. She's a Cuban-American uh, singer from Miami. This song is blowing up through Shazam and through uh, YouTube and everything and basically this song is just that catchy kind of rhythmic song she does have a little bit of swagger rap to her but she's got that deep kind of voice that just kind of cuts through uh, she was just named to the rolling stone list 10 artists to watch in 2014 all right we got to watch out for her you also have a new boy band to tell us about yeah rixton they're uh the uk's version of maroon 5 basically their song rixton wait on me is basically if you took maroon 5 10 years ago that is this sound all right uh so expect to see really big things from rixton you see bands like five seconds of summer who are uh they're boy bands but they hey they play music they play mm -hmm. real instruments uh this is another version with rixton uh and the song is super catchy all right, you're playing them both on your afternoon. Playing them drive both, home you can definitely slot, hear right? them. Kiss 98.5, two to six. You can always follow him at Kiss or at Judd Kiss 985 on Twitter. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks. Great to get back in the Tuesday group. With you. Yes. And go Bills. Go Bills. All right.